Greetings again from my study here at West Craig Hill Drive. Welcome to our midweek meditation on this, the 5th of October. Last Sunday, October the 2nd, was the 17th Sunday after Pentecost. Today, it's also Yom Kippur. I again return to the Daily Prayer 2022 book for our meditation. We need to continue, as I have said, to pray for our Ukrainian brothers and sisters as the war with Russia continues into its seventh month. We will keep all of those involved in our intercessory prayers. Our meditation, reflection, and prayer today begins and ends with the phrase, The fidelity of the Lord endures forever. Our psalm is Psalm 30, and the scripture that forms the basis for the meditation is found in the Gospel of Luke, the 11th chapter, verses 1 through 4. We will then continue with some prayers of intercession, the Lord's Prayer, a closing prayer, and a sentence. The fidelity of the Lord endures forever. Reading now from Psalm 30. I will extol you, Lord, for you have raised me up, and have not let my enemies rejoice over me. O Lord my God, I cried to you for help, and you have healed me. O Lord, you have lifted up my soul from Sheol, restored to life those who sink into the pit. Sing psalms to the Lord, you faithful ones. Give thanks to his holy name. His anger lasts but a moment, his favor all through life. All night come tears, but dawn brings joy. Hear, O Lord, and have mercy on me. Be my helper, O Lord. You have changed my mourning into dancing. Remove my sackcloth and girded me with joy. So my soul sings psalms to you and will not be silent. O Lord my God, I will thank you forever. And now, reading from Luke's Gospel, Jesus was praying at a certain place. And when he had finished, one of the disciples said to him, Lord, teach us to pray, just as John taught his disciples. And he said to them, When you pray, say, Father, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Give us each day our daily bread. And forgive us our sins, for we ourselves forgive everyone in debt to us. And do not be subject to us and do not subject us to the final test. Which brings us to our reflection. For Roman Catholics, the prayer text that appears in today's gospel today, today's gospel today, <laughs> is immediately recognizable as the Our Father. Yet the words are different from those which we are accustomed. Although the slight differences may be jarring, they can also invite us to enter into the prayer and encounter God in a new way. So, take a few moments to pray Luke's version of the Lord's Prayer now. And as you do, meditate on the words and open your hearts to God so that you may hear his voice anew. And that brings us to the prayers of the people and the intercessory prayers. Trusting to our Father, we pray, hear us, O God. For those who struggle with addiction, we pray, hear us, O God. For those who are holding grudges, we pray, hear us, O God. For those who are in need of forgiveness, we pray, hear us, O God. For our Ukrainian brothers and sisters who continue to fight valiantly for their freedom, now into seven months of war, we pray. Hear us, O God. For those who have died, we pray. Hear us, O God. Now, let us offer the prayer that Christ has given us as the model for all prayer with words that we probably were taught as youngsters. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, 
and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Let us then close with these words. Merciful God, you are slow to anger and quick to forgive all who turn to you. Make us then bearers of your mercy, so that all whom we may encounter may know the power of your love. Through Christ our Lord we pray. Amen. And back to our sentence. The fidelity of the Lord endures forever. Well, that concludes this week's meditation. We will return to our Bible study this, this week on Zoom this afternoon at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. We continue to study Luke's Gospel. I believe we are already up to chapter 18. So, but please note the change from 7 p.m. to the afternoon. Weekly worship will continue on Sundays at 8.15 a.m. with fellowship after service. So please join us this Sunday for worship with live music in the sanctuary at 8.15. Worship, of course, will continue streaming live on Facebook. And if you don't happen to be a Facebook user, that's okay, because the service will also be available on the Palmer Grace UCC YouTube channel later on on Sunday afternoon. Have a wonderful day, and we'll see you again next week.